Welcome back to the Talos Principle. We're pretty much done here in C5. Well, almost. We have one final star to find, and that'll bring us up to six out of ten stars, so only four more to go in the C-Hub. And yeah, the star that we're aiming for is right here, and there is only this one, right? Like, this is the only possible red connection, as far as I know. Like this one, a uh, red uh, transmitter. So it like has to be from that one. But the question is how we link it up. I'm not entirely sure. Because like, I, I guess we could take this one and wait. Ah oh, yeah, this one has you dropping down. So like, I can't take this connector down. Hmm. Yeah, I wanted to like take this connector down and jump over and like connect it up from there, but... I guess that's not gonna happen. And like, yeah, we could have a connector... ...up on this fan, perhaps? Maybe? So, where is this? Right there. It's pretty sneaky. So we could do that. Get some boxes here place one here, and then we place this connector, just connect it up to here, onto this. And we send this... Oh no, that's not gonna work, because we would need another connector to send it up. Well, damn. Yeah, so that kind of can't be it, then. How else do we get a laser to have line of sight there. It's not in this level, is it? Maybe? Maybe we, like, relay it again? Relay it from here to this level? To in here? Yeah, that could be it. They do love their relays, laser relays. They use those pretty, pretty frequently. All right, so now we can do this intended solution that feels a lot better. There we go. So I guess we want, like, double box on here. So we take this. Yeah, 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 that's definitely it. Ah, uh, okay, you don't even need to do anything. Yeah, sweet. You don't even have to, like, put it here or anything like that. All right, pretty simple. Just, just a relay. We've seen those, like, a trillion times before. It's honestly one of the most, like, common ways they hide, uh, hide stars. Just relay a laser from one level into another, which has the star. Or now, at this point, it's like relay a laser from one level into a another uh, stage, and then from that one into the one that has the star. Yeah, and then you just jump in. Simple enough. Alright, cool. We are done in C5. I wonder if the snake wants to talk now. We've been good. We've been busy. Yeah, nothing else here. Of course, we do have a lot of potential out-of-bounds that we could explore, but I'll save that for a dedicated episode. Yeah, look at that. I guess we can't get across here, but still, we can look out over the courtyard. Alright, let's see. Snake talk. Beep boop. No beep boop. All right, Snake doesn't want to talk yet, so I guess we just move on. Does God want to talk? Nope. All right, it's just just us then. We are all alone. Time to check out C6. Only one star and three levels. Kind of a small one. And then we just have seven. Wait, so seven has to have three stars as well? Or are there eight levels? There's only seven, right? Wait, huh? I guess there's, like, I guess it counts the, uh, the, like, outside stars as well. We already found a star up in the, at the bottom of the tower, so I guess it counts those. So we'll only get eight stars within the levels of the sea hub, and then I have to find them elsewhere. Like, maybe it's, maybe it's in here. Could be in here, could be in one of the other two star levels or something, could be higher up in the tower. 
yeah, I think that might be it. Okay, well, again, let's check out C6. Second to last level here. I mean, not, not exactly, but, you know, numbered level. We got more logs. We got a nice sky. Yeah, keeping the castle theme. This one's pretty, like, busy. Many little small structures. Kind of a garden thing. Yeah, this looks really cool. Man, looks great. All right, time for some reading. Faith, thank you, and human soul. I feel like we've read pretty much all of these before. Most of these are kind of blending together a bit. From Neil Mac Macomber? Macomber? Stray thoughts at midnight. Dearest brother, I admit that I'm finding it very difficult to believe in a loving God under these circumstances. Why would a loving God inflict such pain and suffering on good, kind people? If truly there is a personal God, how can he be the same God who will subject those children to such unbearable pain? I remember all the answers we were taught, yet none of them seem believable now. I don't want to stand in front of people and preach something that I don't feel in my heart. Better to have doubts than to be a hypocrite. And yet I also cannot deny the experience that led me to this vocation. So what is the truth? Perhaps it is that I neglected the mystery of God, used He moves in mysterious ways as an excuse rather than the terrifying acknowledgement it truly is. Perhaps I made God too human. If the universe has a purpose, that does not mean that it revolves around us. A sobering thought. But are we not supposed to be humble in the face of the divine? With love. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the point. That, like, a good, good, merciful God doesn't nece necessarily mean a good, merciful God towards humans. Just towards everything. Like, humans and everything else. So, you never know. Thank you. Sun Wei Yang, Alexander Drennan, thank you. Dear Alexandra, as we approach the end, I wanted to let you know how much I appreciated this chance to finish my work on Soma slash Talos. My faith makes death a far less frightening prospect than it is for others. I know we have all died many times before, but the thought of leaving the work unfinished did weigh on me. For having released me from that burden, I will forever be thankful to you, even if our attempt itself fails. Though there are trillions of worlds beyond this one, I hope we may meet again in another life. With love, hexadecimal code. Time is the mercy of eternity. Whatever that means. Yeah, I, I really don't know what that's supposed to be saying, but sure. With love. And finally, human soul. Archive, I don't think this is hexadecimal. Samuel Butler again. If all machines were to be annihilated at one moment, so that not a knife nor lever nor rag of clothing nor anything whatsoever were left to man but his bare body alone that he was born with, and if all knowledge of mechanical laws were taken from him so that he could make no more machines and all machine-made food destroyed so that the race of man should be left as it were naked upon a desert island, we should become extinct in six weeks. A few miserable individuals might linger but even these in a year or two would become worse than monkeys. Man's very soul is due to the machines. It is a machine-made thing. He thinks as he thinks and feels as he feels. Through the work that machines have wrought upon him and their existence is quite as much a uh, sine qua non for his, I don't know what that means, as his for theirs. So, TLDR, machines good, machines helpful. I mean, I guess it also depends on the definition of machines, like, is really, is a tool a machine? Like, just us having the ability to, like, create fire, for example, is, is that a machine? Creating fire by striking two rocks together or twiddling some twigs? Like, it depends on what you mean by machine. Because in, in my mind, a machine is specifically something that does something without direct manual labor from a, a, an individual or something, I would say. I don't know. I guess it's it's kind of hard to say. Maybe maybe the definition is just anything that's like man-made for the sake of making tasks easier is a machine. No clue. And there we go. 
All right, time to do a little bit of light exploration. We only had a single star in this one. Feels kind of lonely now that we had the three star one. I wonder how many of us there have been. Probably a lot. You can even see based on your like, your uh, serial number that there's been many, many, but that's just one iteration. So there's probably many more than that as well. Oh, wow, that was easy. I'm finding these paint buckets quickly. I feel like they were more hidden before. Like in the earlier levels, actually, I had to look around for them and they were in sneaky little corners and stuff. Now they're kind of just wherever. Though I do think the spots have like some variety. There's like a randomness to them. There's multiple different spots that a paint bucket can generate in each level. Guess we'll listen to this as well. A mirror. This is all ego, isn't it? Recording these random thoughts, these letters to the future. Just a desperate grab for immortality. Maybe. But you should know. Yes, this was my idea, my project. But so many people helped. People I don't even know. People I haven't even met who can do things I don't even begin to understand. That if we succeeded, if someone's listening to this, I really can't take credit for it. What we achieved, we achieved together. And if we fail, well, it doesn't matter. Well, I mean, pretty much everything is ego when you break it down to the very basics. Again, like, even the people that are unnamed that have done stuff for this project that it wouldn't have been able to be completed without them, you would say, well, because they don't, like, put their name on it. They don't want to, like, want everyone in the future to know that they did this. That it's still ego in a sense because they themselves like it that way, you know, like, it's... it's virtually impossible not to do any any anything voluntarily that isn't in some way selfish or like for your own sake because even if you actively harm yourself to help someone else that's still an action if you voluntarily d do it it's an act to make you feel better about yourself so like in that sense it's quote unquote selfish though obviously that's kind of a pointless way to look at it, because then everything is selfish and nothing is selfless, but there's still, like, selfish actions that help more people than just the person that performs it and stuff. But yeah, I mean, it is kind of an ego thing to, to be like, hello, I'm Alexander Drennan, this is my my project, my baby, future future people, but why, why wouldn't you do that, really? It's not like that hurts anything, and they're still trying to, like, do this for a good cause, I suppose. All right, and I think we're hello again. These guys, I love them, but they don't love anything. And I think we're pretty much done here with the exploration, so I guess we might as well take a look at one of the levels. So we only have three. This one. This here. And, wow, okay, just jammers and stuff. Yeah, let's let's check out this one then. Two-way street. Hello. Let me in. Wonder if you could somehow, like, jump across. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god, wait. Wait, wait, wait. No, come on. I don't even know if you can stand here. I just need to need to know. Need one good jump. I, I keep not jumping. I don't think you can. Yeah, okay, you can't. Damn. That would have been amazing if you could just jump up right away, walk along, and drop in and get it. Alright, two-way street. Hello? Yeah, look both ways. Oh, I thought that was a star. Huh? This looks suspicious. Are we supposed to do something here? No idea. You know, this is a very suspicious little platform. I 
I mean, it seems like that over there is probably the star. Because this level wouldn't go on for that long, would it? Maybe it does? Yeah, we can just weave between these, no problem. No, I guess it does, yeah? We need keys as well. Second jammer, which means we can bring the old jammer if I need it. But I guess for now, let's just move on. Yeah, I see. So that's what we need to do. No big deal. Just do that. What the? Okay. What was up with that guy? I wasn't even close. And I can't just, like, jam it open from in here, no. I'm just gonna jam this guy for now. Go in here, jam that. And then make sure we don't... Don't, like, misalign them. Yeah, that's good. There we go. Oh, okay. Aha! Uh -huh. There's even more, huh? Wait, was there a... No? No, that's the switch. Oh, oh, of course, of course. We just do this again. Yeah, okay. That's no problem. So jam that. Jam this. Now we turn this off, so we can take this jammer again. And that gives us the keys, yeah? And opens that up? No? What is in here? Ah, that's where we're, we're going, okay. So I'm assuming I want to ferry the jammers back again. Alright. Oh, that's it. Huh. These levels are getting easier. I don't know. It's kind of strange. You would expect the C-Hub to be just way harder than A and B. So far I almost feel like Hub B might have been the hardest one. But I don't know. Don't remember all of the levels. The, uh, the ice one, like... The Gandalf, Lord of the Rings, uh, what's it called? Star Wars, that level, with the Ice Cave. That was probably, like, one of the hardest worlds overall for me. But we'll see. We still have two more levels here and one entire world to go. Or, uh, yeah, a world in the Sea Hub. Alright, well, I, I guess let's test out one more. Uh, do I have time? Yeah, I have time. Circumlocution? What? Circumlocution. Circumlocution. I've never heard that before. Hold on. Circumlocution. The use of many words where fewer would do, especially in a deliberate attempt to be vague or evasive. Never knew that. Learn something new. I like how the word itself is kind of like convoluted and like a lot. All right, so I mean, to begin, we just do that. We don't have anything else to do. Yeah. So we can open this easily enough. I mean, in two ways. I see, circumlocution. It's like, it's gonna be a super windy, needlessly complicated way to just like go in here or something, or go right straight ahead? Yeah, this way. I see, so we have to, like, go past so many gates and stuff here. 
Alright. Makes sense. The tower looks cool, but I'm not sure if it's, like, suspicious or not. So yeah, for now, we can just... Uh... Yeah, what do we do here, exactly? Hmm. Because I, I feel like this is way too inefficient if I use this here. That wouldn't be good. But for now, let's just see if we get anything else. We do get a box here. Yeah, so the box we can put on the button. Oh, this looks like potential out of bounds. No, you can't stand on that. Damn. This level feels like it has some out of bounds potential, though. Oh, come on. You can't stand there? Ah. Nope, can't stand here either. I'm sure there's somewhere you can out of bounds here. I just need to figure out where. There's another, like, non-existing rock. Alright, never mind. Yeah, okay, well, let's go back, but I think I'm still missing a step or two. So, to begin with... Yeah, the fact that there's an opening here is also, like, suspicious. Ah. We could have a connector sitting here and hitting this and this at the same time. I think that's what we have to do at some point. But do I get anything new here? Oh, QR code. Seriously unfit for purpose. What? Sam? Ah! He just like went mad, blew up, self-destructed. Oh, also, let me check it. Yep. Nothing wrong there. I mean, I, yeah, okay. We can get another connector, at least. Yeah, okay, I think I have this one figured out. I don't think it's too bad. So we just have to... Oh, it's, it's this one. Yeah, okay. So, just put this... Put this here again. And this one, we hook up here as well. Now we get another connector. And I mean, we can just do this for now, but now the problem is we need to also open this and have a jammer available here. I see. Oh, hello. How would we even get in there? Jumping up here, maybe, or something? But yeah, maybe I've, like, scoped this out now. I think solving this might take a little too long, so maybe I'll just leave it off here, and then we'll, uh, we'll try this level again next time. So we definitely need to do some, some, like, more efficient connector connecting, having, like, something connecting up. I don't even know. I don't know how to get this one. Unless it's like we have to... Hmm. Like we have to jam this one, but we only have one jammer. Because yeah, it doesn't seem like you'll be able to connect this up anywhere. No idea, but yeah, we'll see. And then over there I think we have something figured out with like using a connector to connect up to two different gates and stuff. We will check it more next time. Hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching, I'll see you then. Bye bye!